What's up, y'all? I'm Deidre. Black Lives Still Matter. And this is Shade Tree Reads. This is going to be my TBR for the Throwbackathon. I am so excited about this. And this is the second or the second round or the second anniversary, maybe, of this um, readathon. It is set up and hosted by the Black Pros Club. I will put their announcement video in the description box as well as in the cards. So they have five prompts. It's going to run from yesterday to Friday the 21st. And then they have seven Instagram prompts, which I haven't looked. I didn't see what yesterday's was, but I'm going to do today still. So check out my Instagram and my handle is the same, Shade Tree Reads. You can also find that in the description box as well. Um, but let's get straight into what I'm going to be reading for each prompt. So the first prompt is Batman Forever. Read a book where the character has a secret identity or is hiding something major. And so for that one, I chose The Black God's Drum, The Black God's Drums um, by P. Jelly Clark. Um, the reason why I picked that one is found in the synopsis, so I'll read a little bit of that for you. It says, Creeper, a scrappy young teen, is done living on the streets of New Orleans. Her sights are set on securing passage aboard Captain Anne Marie's smuggler airship, Midnight Robber, earning the captain's trust using a secret about a kidnapped Haitian scientist and a mysterious weapon he calls the Black God's drums. But Creeper keeps another secret close to her heart. Oya, the African Orisha of the wind and storms, who speaks inside her head and grants her divine powers. And Oya has her own priorities. So... I thought this would be good. It's very short. It'd be good for a one week readathon. And we're going to get into this as soon as we finish with this video. The second prompt is Recess. Read a book focused on a group of friends. And for that, I chose Drama High. She actually mentioned this in one of her recent weekly reading vlogs, I believe. Maybe in the last two weeks or so, three weeks. And I hadn't even heard of this. It was published in 2006, so that's probably why I hadn't heard of it. Um, but it is about a high school, and I'm assuming that at least some of the characters are friends with each other. If not in the beginning, maybe they'll be friends by the end of the book. So I am very excited to get into some high school drama of a bunch of black kids. That shit looks like, why haven't I heard of it before now? So to add to that comic book graphic novel sort of for the same reasons, I am going to be adding um, a short story or a novella to that. Um, this is A Taste of Honey by Kai Ashanti Wilson. It's only 160 pages, um, but I am very excited to get into some of Wilson's writing. It's just the cover for this one and another one, I think it's, something like I can't remember the name of the oh here it is sorcery of the wild the wild deeps that cover is just so pretty I'll put a picture of it here it's also by the same author and I just really can't wait to get to it I've been seeing the cover for the devil in America um, pop up in my like Kindle recommendations a lot so and I already own a taste of honey I saw it on Twitter I think I saw somebody talk about it on Twitter a little while ago and the cover was so beautiful um, so I'm gonna be reading that for part of prompt three the fourth prompt for the throwbackathon is gargoyles read a book based on an ancient myth mythology or history and I chose to read a nonfiction book called the black count by Tom Reese um, it is about the count of Monte Cristo Cristo I said that a lot <laughs> um, and the general Alex Dumas so who's actually a black man um, and I didn't know that I can't remember where I found this book or maybe I was just searching and it was suggested um, in some other nonfiction books that I've been searching for and, and reading but this one really struck me um, it's interesting because I didn't know that the Count of Monte Cristo Cristo was based on 
a person who is black. I have the audiobook for this one as well as an ebook. Um, and I am just really super excited to jump into um, a little bit of history and find out what the real deal is with the Count of Monte Cristo. The fifth and final prompt for the throwback a thon is Doug, read a coming of age story. And for that, I am reading You Should See Me in a Crown. I pre ordered this and it came the day after it was released and I just have not been in the mood to read but as you can see I've already started it and I am about 30% in I have been cracking up laughing at this shit <laughs> the whole time it got me out of my reading slump this is so funny I love the group of friends that are in this book it's just everything that I hoped it would be and it's just giving me all of my feels and all of my life so what are y'all reading for throwback a thon I would love to know if you're participating please let me know send me a comment down below and I will be back soon with the wrap up of this I probably will read other things this month but for sure I'm going to read these five books or I think it's actually six we'll read these six books for this particular readathon but um yeah i'm excited for this i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye now